hello everyone so today in this video we're going to be looking at this question divisible by k which is the symbol long uh, challenge okay so what basically this question is saying you are given an array a consisting of n positive integer and a positive integer k so it's saying that find whether there exists a subset of s uh, uh, of elements a such that the product of all elements of s is divisible by k so what is saying that no the subset is obtained by deleting some or no element without changing the order of remaining elements okay so let me take the you know like first uh, test case and explain it to you guys so first test case is uh, first test case is 2 2 and the given array is 7 8 okay so 7 8 is the array now it's basically saying the check if any of the subset of this array is typical while this k this is k and this is actually um, the size of uh, you know like this array let's suppose it is n so what are the subset of this uh, array it can be 7 it can be 8 or it can be 7 8 okay so now you can see that this uh, this subset of this array is totally divisible by this 2 it means it k okay so from here what we can conclude is that that if any of the single element uh, of the given array is divisible by uh, the given k so it means it going to be divisible by the whole array product it means if I uh, multiply 7 into 8 it gonna give me like 56 and if I now uh, you know like take the mod of k then it gonna give me answer 0 because it is completely divisible by 2 okay so from this observation what we can conclude is that now we can take a variable c okay and now we can store the product of all the elements of array and if it is divisible by you know like k then we can print yes otherwise we can uh, output no but you know like the problem with this approach is that in the worst case uh, the constant are given like 10 to the power 9 it means uh, the each element of array can be at least at most 10 to the power 9 so if this case uh, let's suppose if this case happen so your array going to be become like 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power 9 into so you know like it's gonna become so big that you can't even store it so for for dealing with this problem what you needed to do is that that you just okay so you can just mod the element uh, you know like before storing it into some c so let's suppose here is your c okay and here is your array so and here is your k so you need to you know like mod uh, the each element of array by k every time you are storing it in c and getting the product okay so 7 by modulo 2 so it gonna get us uh, you know like 1 so you need to store 1 then multiply it by this the next element which is which you need to also take the mod of uh, 2 okay so in this case you're gonna you're gonna get in 0 so this gonna get in 0 and you can check that if the remain if the you know like product of C is 0 then you just need to output yes otherwise you just need to output no score of the question is available in the description just go and check out the code